So last Friday, we had a Flento meetup in San Francisco at the Pivotal Labs office, and it was really fun. We had three speakers, and I did one of the presentations, and what I did was I showed a couple of the app critiques that I've done on this channel. One was a PayPal app where I recreated a broken transition that I found. Another was the Yelp app where I improved upon the blurred background effect in a, their photo swipe. And then I did a new one, which was uh, to fix a broken transition that I found in the Nest app. So I'm gonna show you that Nest app transition and recreate it in this video. So here's a recording of the app. You can see the transition there. And this transition, it looks basically okay, but when you look closely, something looks a little glitchy. And when we play it in slow motion, you can see exactly what's happening. So here's when the transition starts, and I'm stepping through frame by frame. I'm backing up here because you can see that these buttons at the bottom and the little shadow animate, or they don't animate in at all, they just appear suddenly. So those appear without animation, which could look a little nicer if they came in smoothly. Then here comes the menu, sliding up, and when I get to here, that, that shadow in the background disappears if you look in the bottom left or bottom right. And we can continue up, and there's those buttons in the shadow again coming up with the menu. So they appear initially, then they disappear, and then they slide back up. So that looks a little bit broken to me. I don't think that was intentional. So I thought it would be cool to use Flinto for Mac to recreate this transition and show how it might be fixed and demonstrate how you can use Flinto for Mac to quickly create something like this because it's a great way to communicate. You know, if you were on this team and you wanted to show somebody what was wrong and how it could be fixed, uh, using Flinto for Mac like this would be a great way to start that conversation. So I've got the two screens here uh, and I've recreated them. So I've just, uh, I took a screenshot actually for this one and the other, I, I built the menu from scratch and I've, I've even got the little buttons down here. So those are all individual layers that I can modify. So I'm gonna make a link from the support button to the other screen and I'll make a new transition. Now I want this screen to be uh, on top of the other one. They actually have the same screenshot in the background so I can just kind of overlay this and then if I move everything off of it, it'll look just like the start screen, which is what I need for a good transition. So I'll just move this off, move the buttons down, move this shade down, and then there's a, there's a layer here that's darkening everything and I'll fade that out. Now when I toggle the transition, you can see all those things animate back to where they were, and that pretty much recreates the transition that I think they were going for. All right, so I'll exit out of the transition designer. Let me just put a backlink here, and we can open up the preview and test this out. Cool, so I think that looks really nice. And I think it might be nice to make this list scrollable because in the app, this list of buttons was actually scrollable. So I'll just click scroll vertical here on that group. And on this title bar, I think it would be cool to add the ability to swipe down. So I'm gonna put a backlink here and choose down swipe as the gesture. Now if I pop back over to the preview, can test this out. I can actually scroll this, which just adds to the realism of the prototype. And I can swipe down from here, which is a new feature that I'm adding just because I wanted to see how that would work. And it does feel kind of natural. So I think this is a good demonstration of how if you wanted to have a conversation about this with somebody, if this, something like this happened at your company or on something you were working on, if it took you all day to build a prototype, it might not be worth it and you'd probably just want to explain it, but the communication can break down if there's not a visual. But you can see that in Flinto for Mac, you can create something like this in a matter of minutes, and then that's a great aid in your conversation. You're gonna save time there and you're gonna both understand what exactly you're talking about.